What's up, guys? It's Rich back with another Gray Zone Warfare video for you. Today, we're going to be talking about the best headset you can get in game and the differentiating factors in between the four of them, I believe, that are in the game right now and what you want to do and where you can get the best one. I'll show you the locations on the map for being able to farm that and why it's necessarily the best one. So let's dive into it. Not need to waste any more of your time. The first thing we're talking about is the differentiating factor between the earmuffs and the quads because a lot of people know that these are actually earmuffs which reduce the amount of ambient sound going on around you. Footsteps, gunshots, really anything. If, you, if you've ever been to a range in real life, you'll realize that you wear a pair of earmuffs um, like that. You can't hear a the gunshots going off just as loud as they normally would be um, because you're in an enclosed environment. So earmuffs is definitely a play if you're trying to reduce noise. I recommend them if you're at home base and you're trying to organize your inventory and you're trying to avoid the noise of the chopper coming and going. It's really good to get a pair of one of these off of the AI when you kill them in one of the starter towns or in one of the other areas that you don't farm the GSSHs off. This is really good to have at least one pair in here and that's what I do most of the time. I just have one pair whenever I'm organizing my inventory. I'll just go ahead and throw it on. That's the basic yellow earmuffs and then now we're going to talk about the quads. So the quads are a pair of uh, earmuffs that are supposed they amplify ambient sounds by nine times, which is what the description says. However, I don't necessarily feel that being true, and that's why I don't really recommend these. Um, one, they're the more expensive ones you can buy from uh, Handshake Vendor Level 3, and these right here, so the quads. And I don't think they're worth that price when the Razer are – if you're trying to buy a pair of headsets, the Razer, in my opinion, is going to be better. I feel like the ambient noise is amplified significantly more with the Razer Pro than the Ultimate Power Muff quads. That's, in my opinion, what I think, and I'll let you hear the two differences now in between these two so that's this is no muffs this is with the quads this is with the razor you can tell that automatically it is going to be a little bit louder even if it's by a small percentage point the razor headset if you want to hear more is going to be better and more efficient for you than the quads and that's you know, it might be hard for a lot of people to see that because, like I said, the quads are more expensive. So make sure if you're buying a pair of headsets in game, don't buy the quads. Definitely go with the Razer headset if you're trying to hear more around you. But that brings me to my final point, which is the best headset in the game right now, the GSSHs. For those that have played Escape from Tarkov, you guys will know that this is actually a pretty poopy headset over there. But in this game, the ambient sound buff you're getting with the GSSHs is unbelievable. I definitely recommend these pair of headsets over any other headset in the game. And now these headsets you cannot buy. The only place to get these headsets are going to be at Fort Nareth. You're going to get these at Midnight Sapphire and then a Tiger Bay inside of the mall. This is this is worn by all the army personnel. So if you kill any of the army personnel around Lemang, they will most likely have this headset on. So go ahead and pick up a few of them while you're trying to kill AI or while you're out there killing AI and then farm on putting your inventory because the benefit these give you compared to other ones is unbelievable. I personally love the GSSHs and I think they're awesome to have on because if you can tell, so I'm going to switch over here from all four. So this is the earmuffs, razor quads, sorry, correction, just the quads, razor headset, GSSHs. In my opinion, GSSHs give you you're getting maybe like a plus 5% with this, and then you're getting like a plus 9% boost with the GSSHs. I can show you between the two here. And I'll put the earmuffs on, so for the rest of the video, it's a lot easier for you to hear me. I personally think the GSSHs are going to be the premier headset in the game. They're going to see a lot of people running until they maybe add more headsets to Handshake. I think they're awesome. Um, and I think they're pretty easy to farm on Fort Nareth personally. Um, I definitely would recommend if you want to farm them going here instead of somewhere like Midnight Sapphire or Tiger Bay. One, Tiger Bay is hellish. Two, Midnight Sapphire is very difficult to farm out solo. Three, Fort Nareth is a lot easier if you're trying to understand the outskirts and tag off some of the military guys and farm some of the headsets as well where you can farm some of the ammo there. So... That about sums up what I wanted to go over. I just wanted to explain to you why I believe the GSSHs are the best ones, how you can get them, and if to try them out. I'm very curious for you guys to try them out, and then let me know what you guys think down below. And what headset are you guys rocking? Are you guys running earmuffs, or are you guys rocking Razer, or one of the GSSHs? Um, very curious. Let's get some discussion going. Try them out, and then also come back in a video, and let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'm very curious to hear what the community says, and I'm um, getting your feedback from you guys. If this helped you out, guys, make sure you drop that like, drop that sub for more Grey Zone Warfare content. I'll keep it pumping and keep it coming for you guys. Catch me live streaming over on Twitch. We have an amazing community growing over there. Also, hop into Discord because we have an awesome, super helpful community with a bunch of people that are really knowledgeable in the game helping a bunch of players out. So make sure if you need any help with any quests, hop in there. I'll link it down below. Other than that, guys, appreciate you taking your time and watching my video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.